I executive produced a short film that they made with David Beckham for a, a collection that they did. And I was sort of around with friends and my fiance David works with him and it all sort of happened that I was involved as a producer. And then um, I didn't know this, but they were looking to sort of try and focus a little bit more on the female side of the brand. And so my name came up when they decided they thought, oh, let's go with that direction. And so they asked me if I would do it. And I was really excited and surprised. And um, we talked about me getting to design a capsule collection, which was something that I'd never done before, but always wanted to. So it kind of, it was like a magical, great thing that just came up. Um, that was so exciting for me. I don't know, it's so funny. I, everybody always asks me, you know, what's your favorite film you've ever made or kind of favorite questions and I struggle with that because I, I love every experience I have and I suppose the idea of Bell Staff is it's a, a luxury fashion line but with this element of adventure to it and to me every job that I take is kind of an adventure and so it's perfect because it just is, because it's happening now, and I really um, love working with the people, and I'm getting to do something I've never done before. So that's, I guess that's why it's perfect. It was kind of a combination of me feeling totally selfish and excited to just make some pieces that I've always wanted to make that are sort of my favorite things or things that I knew that I, my friends would love and like a great um, parka or leather jacket or there's a, a cape that's kind of like a cashmere cape with a little leather collar. And then also, I, but then as it's gone on, I'm trying to pay attention to who the Bell Staff woman is and what the brand is interested in and, uh, you know, all those sort of like learning the behind the scenes of what it takes to be a designer and run a fashion house. I'm not doing those things at all. I'm doing it on such a small scale, but I'm enjoying, you know, learning about it all. The inspiration, I mean, from myself. Mm -hmm. oh, that's, what I was, that's what I meant. It was initially kind of, you know, me saying, oh, I've always wanted this piece. That's, there's a, a boot that I had always wanted. And so we, I mean, I did the most silly sketch and showed Delphine a picture who's the main designer and she was very supportive and helping me put everything together and and um, and then I guess over time the first collection we put together in a couple of days and it was kind of just pieces that I had always wanted to create and then the second collection we had a little bit more time and there was more of a, a mood board and an inspiration of sort of this woman in the countryside um, that was very feminine yet very adventurous with a little edge to her and, and we kind of could create a little bit more of a character and a story. I feel very grateful and excited and a little bit nervous and shy about it. I'm so shy about um, ever having to get up on stage in front of people so I feel a bit nervous about that but it's a very interesting award because my grandmother is an etiquette expert and my whole life she has sort of grown up teaching me about manners and she used to work in the government with diplomats and stuff but I grew up she's just this sweet wonderful woman but she taught me so much about and I my friends always joke with me that I'm a gentleman and then I didn't really realize that gentlewoman was kind of a word but I always take kind of great pride in showing consideration and kindness and love to all the men and women around me. So I actually felt um, excited that that was my award. And I couldn't wait to tell my grandmother about it. <laughs> it's a lot. I always say that it's like conducting a giant orchestra because I'm kind of going like over there and over there. And I'm very specific about things. So I, I try and I have, a, I mean, a lot of help. And I'm grateful for that. And I have a wonderful um, partner who's a, a wonderful dad and, and Milo has a great dad so I feel like we have a good support system and um, I feel grateful for that because you definitely can't work and have kids and not have a good support system around you so that's probably the key. It's just the balance you know some days are harder some days I'm working all, more than I you know like all day for 12 hours and I get very little time with the kids and those days don't make me happy but then I'll have a day where I spend the whole day with them and, and, and to then sort of try and balance it all out I guess. I've never been someone that's dressed overtly 
in a sexy way. I feel, I've always kind of been a little bit of a tomboy. I have this very curvy, tall body, but I've always been, I like to be able to, I don't like to feel too precious. Unless I have to get very dressed up, I like to get very dressed up and wear heels and be very tall and, and wear a gown. But I, eventually, at some point in the night, I'm going to take my shoes off and I might even change into some jeans and, and go off into the night. I mean, I love Berlin. I always get really excited when I get to come here. This is one of my favorite hotels. I love to stay here. And I've had some really amazing, kind of wild, exciting adventures here um, in the day and in the night. I made a commercial here with Vim Vendors once, which was so um, fun to be with him because I'm such a fan of his work. And, and we shot the commercial in this old dance hall, which was really beautiful. And I've had some crazy nights going out on adventures and great little bars and bands playing. And uh, it's, uh, there's so much art and culture and history. And, and I really enjoy my time when I'm here.